Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings. Hope you're all having a lovely day today. We meet again, and I'm going to cut straight to the chase because I don't like clickbaity titles. It's coming. Believe me, it's coming. Princess Megan. I have warned about this for several years now. I knew this was, would happen. Now, what I've seen in the last couple of days is a load of puff pieces basically claiming that Meghan has had victory over the UK because if her title, I love the way she calls it, her title of Duchess, she's only a Duchess because she's married to Harry, but uh, her title will be Princess. I knew it. I knew it. If the titles are taken away from them, and part of me has kind of felt that she's been trying to provoke to get the ducal title taken away. Um, she wants to call herself Princess Meghan. Now, before you start typing, I can hear you typing now. There's no such title. That doesn't matter. You have to get into the mindset, the rule set and the world of Meghan Markle. She doesn't give a toss. OK, so don't don't worry about those comments technicalities, pedantics of titles, that doesn't matter one jot to madam, believe me. <laughs> I've known that she's wanted to be a, I mean, I think everybody knew she would want to be a princess from Dot. Technically, she is Princess Henry Windsor Mountbatten, I suppose. But the puff pieces, and I won't bother putting links because there are so many of them. She, her puff piece PR people are calling this her victory over the United Kingdom people and their, their unkindness. And kindfulness as opposed to kindfulness. And she's basically, well, the way they're saying it, the PR right, is saying this, is Meghan and Harry are happy to give up the ducal title because then they're just going to be common old house and garden prince and princess and then she will be a princess in her mind which technically yes she is um because at the moment her daughter outranks her do you see what i mean her daughter does outrank her okay don't get me started on the kids and and stuff like that and there's going to also be an update about wally at the end of this video and something that you guys might be able to help with, okay? Because Wally's latest channel was taken down. I think we're on channel six or seven now. There is a new channel on my community post. There are no videos uploaded on it yet, but Wally is on X and she can upload videos there because free speech is a thing on X, as we all know. Some people have a little too much free speech, don't they? Or time on their hands. I see the Benji Cannell parody account that was tormenting Taz uh, has been suspended whoa uh, but that person has claimed they've set up a new one but I don't I dare say that will be suspended soon as well so Megan I saw some puff pieces before this princess nonsense started coming out um, and one of them well I mean it, it really is the princessy type thing that they're going on about that she she will win out because she's married to a blood prince um brace yourselves for that one now i also saw a very interesting article uh, now i've got to get the name right of the lady who put this on x for me i think it's a lady jilly bean and i went and read it and lady jilly bean said i wonder if there's any truth in this and i will try and put a link in the article to that to that basically saying that Netflix have had enough and they're cutting complete ties or rather they're going to make it public because uh, they're not interested in the cooking show surprise surprise um, and also that there is a designer called Julian uh, McDonald who has said he doesn't want to work with Megan because Megan is uh, bad bad for the brand damages brands which I've mentioned many many times um, it's such a bad look because oh, wherever she goes, toxicity follows, eh, sugars? Yes, I've seen you on my ex account with your vicious little comments about Julian McDonald. So, I mean, I'm not into fashion, you might, might have guessed. Um, but I looked this guy up. Now, Julian 
uh, the sugars say, oh, he went bankrupt. Who cares about his clothes? He's a nobody. He's never worked anywhere. Oh, he's a bastard. Oh, and they're coming out with all sorts of shit. I've got a whole ton of new sugars since Christopher Boozy. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, publicised uh, my parody of Meghan Markle from a year or two back. So Julian's a nobody, is he, Sugars? Let's have a little look at who Julian is. Well, when he uh, graduated from college, he's Welsh, um, he went to work for Carl Lagerfeld um, at Chanel. Chanel. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a name brand that no one's ever heard of, have they, Sugars? Nothing important. Carl? No. Nothing important. Um, and he was... Um, creating knitwear for Alexander McQueen. Uh, have we heard that name? Yeah, yeah, I think we've heard that one. And Chanel. Um, in 2001, he was named the British Fashion Designer of the Year. And his famous clients include Kylie Minogue, Jennifer Lopez, and Beyonce. Oh God, on Twitter, someone put a clip from the Netflix thing where Megan said, I can't believe Beyonce knows I exist. And then she reads out the message. Oh, it's just, it's so fake. It's so fake. So Beyonce, right? Sugars. Uh, but no one cares. No one cares about Julia McDonald. They're going on about, apparently he had to file for bankruptcy. That's happened with lots of designers over the years. But this guy is in the know. And he said he loves working with Queen Camilla. He would love to work with the Princess of Wales. But he does not want to work with Meghan Markle. Because that would be a stain. A nasty stain. Now... Why would that be Meghan fans and potentially Meghan herself? Well, maybe because you've acted like a bitch. Have you spoken to your father lately? Have you spoken to any of your family lately? You're keen for olive branches and to reach out to the king, but not your dad. Oh, I wonder why. What's the difference? Um, and thank you to Tom Markle Jr. for the shout out of the bomb video that I did the other week. Uh, yes, there has been movement, but the police have told us we're not allowed to tell you guys. I'm so sorry, but hopefully we will. Things have got to be locked down for the Crown Prosecution Service in the UK. So we can't give you any update, unfortunately. But thanks to all of you, thanks to all of you, that's what got that account, Oliver Cromwell, taken down. And uh, things are moving. So basically... Um, I was watching Andrew Gold a minute ago, only because a clip of his is actually in a, a news article that they've used, and he was basically saying that Charles and William have had lengthy discussions about removing the titles, but they're, they're worried too because it'll just give the crybabies something else to moan about. Um, isn't it amazing how you get these kind of people like Meghan and Harry? This is one of the many reasons that I don't like their image and their personas. You get these kind of people like them who come and attack, 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 attack. And as soon as you growl back and go, do you know what? Shut the F up. They go, oh, I'm the victim. That's one of the reasons they're not very popular. I'm also behind the scenes getting a lot of messages. Prince Harry this, Prince Harry that, Prince Harry the other. And all these people who tell me this stuff say I'm not allowed to tell anybody because it's stuff that's all going to come out which again i find highly frustrating feels like everybody's saying you're not allowed to say this you're not allowed to say that speaking of which yankee wally yes she's not allowed to talk so jack mallon seems to be a name at youtube whether this person exists or not i don't know but it seems to be the name of the youtube spokesperson <coughs> for example that lady ruby frankie who's just been sent to prison for child abuse she had a channel called eight passengers they've deleted that's my ice machine by the way they've deleted um her channel and jack mallon is the spokesman and that's a very strong case the ruby frankie case the woman has actually been sent to prison she's been convicted and i think she got life or damn near wally wally is a harmless and lovely lady with a wonderful Welsh accent. Welsh warbler, I think Steve, uh, Matthew Stevens called her, and quite right too, who spoke about Meghan. Now, back in March 2022, when Wally's channel was taken down, the original channel, um, there weren't as many people with YouTube channels critiquing Meghan Markle, and a lot of water has gone under the bridge since then, Jack Mallon. 
uh, things like fucking grifters, things like South Park, uh, things like everybody knows she told lies to Oprah and she's, she says she's 43% Nigerian. I mean, come on YouTube. Look back on reflection, I have put in several appeals for the original channel. And I've done a how-to video, at which I'm gonna stick on the end of this, in case any of you guys want to do that. Because I feel we need the original Yankee Wally channel back. And it is one of the greatest injustices I think I have ever seen on YouTube. Wally was never even given the option to appeal. It was like shouting into the wind. There is this new channel, and they are gonna, those channels are gonna keep coming back, keep coming back. They, Wally is going to be the ghost that will haunt Meghan Markle forever after. Why is it, YouTube, that you went out of your way to protect Meghan Markle? Was it pressure from Ellie Hall of BuzzFeed? Was it because of journalists? Were there powers that be? Because a lot of us plebs here out on the street, because that's what we are, that's how they treat us, isn't it, guys? We're just stupid little plebs and we need to be told what to do for our own good. Um, we're looking at this situation left, right and centre and thinking, how come Harry and Meghan get protected from this, get protected from that, get protected from the other? It's starting to look seriously shonky, isn't it? Who's behind all the troll accounts that have a go at just YouTubers who criticise Meghan Markle? Why would they even care? I don't know, I guess there's one or two real fans out there still. Oh, you should see the comments that I've had on X from the, the Sugars, and I wasn't even going to mention that Julian McDonald, I think he's called Julian McDonald. Yes, he is. See, I'm, a, I'm, an, I, I'm an ignoramus when it comes to fashion, but even I've heard of Chanel and Carl and McQueen. I, I've heard of those people. Um, <laughs> so when I saw they all went into total eruption, just because I posted a link to an article, uh, I thought, well, sod it, let's talk about it. That and the princess title. Well, you wait and see, mark my words. She will. I think that there is seismic movement behind the scenes to remove the titles. I think there's serious discussion. I think they may have been told it's gonna happen. And so they decided to preempt it by calling themselves Prince and Princess. Just, just, we're just normal little Prince and Princess, so relatable. And Sugars, by the way, no, I haven't been around for five years. And no, I don't hate on Meghan and Harry. I don't know Meghan and Harry, I've never met them. What I don't like is actually you, Sugars. You make Meghan and Harry more dislikable than is necessary by your vicious and vile behavior. Meghan herself makes herself incredibly unpopular for trying to reach out to the king, but not her father. Sounds like social climbing, doesn't it? Climbing that greasy pole only to find an idiot at the top of it that you married who's basically, I, in my opinion, going broke. So YouTube, will you please look into the case of Yankee Wally? I think you'll find on reflection after two years that there are other YouTubers that are a lot stronger in their opinions of Meghan and Harry. And maybe you'll think to yourselves, oh, maybe Yankee Wally wasn't so bad after all. Or is it that she got just a little bit too close to the bone? And I tell you what, there's gonna come a day I believe she'll be totally vindicated in the newspapers. I mean, that's another thing. Why won't the mainstream go for them? What's going on there? It's all very odd and none of it helps them. None of it makes them more lovable, more likable. And her calling herself princess, I, I can't see that making her more likable. I mean, I, I, she'll just look more ludicrous to me. I might start calling myself the queen of the moon and the stars, you know, as what the hell's the woman talking about? Anyway, thank you very much for listening. And don't forget, Yankee Wally's channel didn't have a single copyright strike, no community guideline strikes, and every single one of her videos had been reviewed, manually reviewed by a human reviewer and was given the green light. This was pressure from the media and from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle themselves. That is my belief. So shortly to follow a how-to video on how you can help to get the original Yankee Wally channel back. I'm going to put a link to the original Yankee Wally channel in the description and in the pinned comments because you need to be able to go to the original channel 
in order to send feedback, which I shall now show you next. Thank you very much for listening. <clears throat> okay, guys, this is the page for the original Yankee Wally channel. Now, as you can see, it says here, this channel was removed because it violated our community guidelines, which it did not. It did not. Um, it, it was a harmless channel, but back then in March 2022, when this account was taken down, there were nowhere near as many uh, royal YouTube channels, certainly not very many, that were discussing Meghan Markle. Um, these days, there are hundreds, if not thousands, and a lot of water has passed under the bridge. Now, you can see here it, the word subscribed. I am still subscribed to the original Yankee Wally channel. Now, this is what you can do to help. The top three dots on the top right-hand corner, press them, and at the bottom, there's a help and feedback section. Now, Back in March 2022, when it first went down, I did a video and we were all doing this feedback. But back in those days, the system at YouTube for the feedback was nowhere near as sophisticated or helpful as it is these days. And I have had excellent results with other issues that I've had on YouTube where I've used this. And then they email me. So I'm going to hit the help and feedback. And then we wait a minute. It takes takes a couple of minutes. My phone's getting awfully slow. Now we've got a whole list of options here. At the bottom, there's one that says send feedback. So that's the one I'm going to hit. And then it asks me, it says that um, we're going to do it, ask a few questions. You can edit your screenshot. So I'm going to hit the get started. Then it asks if I will allow Google Play services, blah, blah, blah. I just put don't allow. I don't like allowing them. And then what we're going to do is type what's happening. Um, I would like to request that a YouTube, I mean, you can um, word this however you want. Don't make it too long, but it needs to be concise. I would like to request that YouTube have another look at this channel. Yankee Wally, which was terminated back in 2022 at the request of Meghan Markle supporters and pressure from journalists, mostly Ellie Hall of BuzzFeed. It was a harmless channel with no strikes. All videos, oops, had been manually reviewed. Right, now I've already put in several requests, so I won't make it too painful going on. And then I'm going to hit the blue arrow to send and then it gives me an option here where I can highlight things or send a screenshot now I'm quite happy with that screenshot um, continue one last question may we email you for more information on updates yes and there we go thanks for sharing your feedback now if you guys can do that in your own words uh, as I say don't make it too long that would be great.